What's up, Creek? I'm David. And I'm Jose, your anchors for KPAN. Let's get into the news. This week is Valentine's Week, so we have a lot of opportunities for students to dress up. Today is Love Your School Day, so wear a Caney Creek shirt. Tomorrow, we wear red for self-love. Wednesdays, we wear pink. Thursday, we're teal. And finally, on Friday, there's no school. Also, don't forget, if you want to participate in the Powder Pub, today is the sign-up day. February is CTE Awareness Month. Each week, we will highlight a few of the CTE clusters that we offer. Our first spotlight goes to the Business, Marketing, and Finance Career Cluster. This cluster contains pathways for those interested in business, management, marketing, and sales. Next, we have the Hospitality and Tourism Cluster. This cluster offers students the opportunity to take culinary arts program of study. Students interested in cooking, planning, and managing within the world of culinary are encouraged to sign up for this course. Lastly, we have the Human Services Cluster, which offers students the opportunity to take courses in cosmetology. The cosmetology program of studies introduces CTE learners to knowledge and skills related to providing beauty and personal care services. Watch the latest CTE video on our YouTube channel for more information about the CTE courses we offer. Now on to Dr. Stickley. Hey kids, hope you're having a good week. Got Valentine's Day tomorrow. Remember, don't bring a whole bunch of big old bears and balloons up here, okay? We'll take those from you and keep them in the office until the end of the day, if you do. So just better to give that to your sweetheart before school or after school and not bring them up here. We don't want to clog aisles in case of a fire alarm. We don't want to have balloons floating all over the school and all of those things. So we're not going to let, let you have all that in our school. So like I said, please do give those to your sweetheart before school, at their house, or after school, at their house, or take them out to supper or whatever, okay? Um, but it is a learning day. It's not a free day. Valentine's Day is not a free day. So make sure you're doing that right. Speaking of days, we will have a family day coming up, and I want to remind you kids what that is. Some people have a misconception. Sometimes kids think, oh, family day means a free day. It does not. What I ask teachers to do on family day is to spend about 10 minutes to 15 minutes of class with you doing some sort of activity that builds relationships with the kids in the class and also builds relationships with the teacher. So. That can be a whole lot of different things that the teacher can do. Now, some teachers, if they would like to spend the entire period doing something, not watching movies, that's not building any relationships or family, but if they want to do something fun and together with the whole class for the whole period, that is fine. Teachers are totally allowed to do that. They're not asked to do that. They're not forced to do that. What I ask them to do is about 10 minutes to focus on those relationships. And then the rest of the period, I'm expecting regular lessons as usual. So don't get mad if a teacher says, now get out your notes, because we're gonna take notes today or we're gonna do this paper, okay? That's what family day is, but it's still a really cool thing. All right, this coming week we have, tonight, Monday, soccer, boys are at home versus New Caney. Girls are away versus New Caney. Baseball is at home versus Cy Ridge. We have Valentine carnations on sale today and tomorrow. So that's a good flower to buy for your sweetie. Get one at school. It's one single flower. It's not a huge bouquet that they're like, oh, well, thank you so much, but now how am I supposed to carry this around all day? Right? That's the thing to give them after school. Buy the carnation for in school. Okay? I don't know how much they cost. They use like two, three dollars each. Okay? Um, Ninth and 10th graders will be meeting with their school counselors individually. So remember those course selection sheets you filled out a few weeks ago? Now you're going to meet with your counselor. They're going to pull that sheet out. They're going to talk to you about it and say, okay, has your mind been changed any since you filled this out? Is this still what you want to do? Are these the, is this help match your goal? Maybe I want to be a doctor and I, I'm taking, you know, Accounting and that might not help me be a doctor. Maybe I want to change that if I want to be a doctor change that uh, Elective to anatomy and physiology or something else So we're trying to line up what your electives are with what you want to be in life. Okay That's what those classes are for Tuesday. We also have boys basketball senior night at home versus the woodlands 
softball is playing Conroe at home and baseball is away. So we have Kindness Week and for Kindness Week on Tuesday, it is wear red. So Valentine's Day, wear red. Monday, you should be wearing your Caney Creek shirt. Wednesday for Kindness Week, wear pink, don't be mean. Thursday, wear teal for random act of kindness. All right, so for Friday, we don't have school. Teachers do have school. We have staff development all day, so we will be here working all day. You kids enjoy that day. We do have baseball at home Friday evening um, if you would like to come out and see baseball. So that is our week. Now I have my dad jokes for the week, which some of our K-Pan kids must have forgot I had dad jokes. I know I hadn't seen y'all in three whole days. Who forgets dad jokes? What did the vegetarian zombie say? First, what does a normal zombie say? They say brains, right? Because zombies eat brains. What did the vegetarian zombie say? Grains. Oh my gosh, I love it. Why should you not get in a fight with a pepper? Because they get jalapeno face. All right, have a good week, kids. 20 colleges are coming to Caney Creek High School on Tuesday, February 21st, during fifth period in the cafeteria for our biannual mini college fair. This is a great opportunity for students to explore their options after high school. Save the date for Junior Jump Start coming up on Wednesday, March 1st, 2023, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Walter P. Jet Center. The boys' basketball team will be playing against the Willens High School tomorrow. Show up to fill the stands to show support. Yeehaw! Dang, oh dang, Billy, did you hear about the Kiss the Pig contest? Wait, what in the tarnation did you just say to me? Sir? You heard me! FFA will be at each list from February 21st to the 24th collecting pennies. Each administrator will have a jar with their name on, and whoever has the most pennies in the jar by the 24th has to kiss the pig. Yee, doggy, I want to see that. We're going to film it and post it on our YouTube. I can't wait. Y'all get them pennies and donate. What are they going to do with all that money, though? Well, Slim, the FFA will be donating it to the Montgomery County Animal Shelter. That sure is a good way to help the community and make me laugh at the same time. I'm going to donate my whole paycheck. Before we wrap things up, we want to remind you that it is Black History Month. We will take a moment to honor and recognize all of the major influences and the achievements that these heroic historians have made on our country. Why was Oscar Michaud significant? Michaud used his films, the first by a black American, to be shown in white movie theaters to portray racial injustice suffered by black Americans, delving into topics such as lynching, job discrimination, and mob violence. That's it for this week, Greek. See you next Monday with our weekly news.